there is this concept that science is a lonely quest by a solitary genius, um, isolated from the world, frantically scribbling equations on a, on a scrap of paper, and then shouting Eureka and running out onto the street to tell the world about the discovery. There's no question that phenomena like that happened in, in, in the history of science. But in truth, things that make a difference in the real world have features which are kind of hard to make a good movie out of. The new strain of coronavirus was first detected in Wuhan city, China, over a month ago. There are now more than 220 confirmed cases. We don't quite know how serious the disease is, how it's going to spread. Now there are reports of human-to-human -human transmission. It is 10 times more lethal than the seasonal flu. The World Health Organization hit the alarm button, declaring coronavirus a pandemic. We have rung the alarm bell loud and clear. The vaccine, c'est pour quand? C'est pour qui? Qu'est-ce que ça concerne exactement? Qu'est-ce qu'on sait précisément de ce que nous prépare les Moderna, les Pfizer? We instantaneously understood that mRNA had really high potential. On a été les premiers à vraiment croire en cette technologie. I saw that mRNA is a technology which could be adaptable to our vision to develop vaccines. Back then they were playing with all sorts of different technologies. As soon as I got that vial, bang, um, everything worked. So then we thought, well, this is interesting. Um, perhaps we can find ways of delivering uh, the drugs. And of course, immediately I offered him that I, I will make that RNA for you. And that's how we started. And a lot of people were very skeptical about that. You know, they didn't think it would work. They take that technology, tweak it a little bit to make it work in the COVID vaccines. We made major discoveries and we initiated a clinical trial. The aim was very clear uh, to develop a vaccine as fast as possible. The genetic COVID vaccines, they're not working. 